Though the show is called Two Wheels to Anywhere, Rich, the show's producer and cameraman, is starting to find himself in an exclusive, hard to leave relationship with four wheels. As Pete and Ken set off into the wind on their way to new destinations, Rich has to contend with the big box, a tripod stand, another lighting case. And the list goes on. The camera back, miscellaneous lights. With a growing arsenal of film equipment, what worked once wasn't working anymore. Time to drive. In this episode of Two Wheels to Anywhere, the team decides to help get Rich back on two wheels by specking out a new motorcycle cargo trailer. On their travels, they meet the folks over at Modern Concepts, who explain the ins and outs of their innovative pull-behind trailers and, after a few unexpected roadblocks, help the team install a trailer hitch on Rich's bike. Later in the show, the boys take a trip to meet vintage motorcycle enthusiast and police officer, Jonathan Hughes. arrive in Wilmington, Massachusetts, home of Modern Concepts Trailers, they meet with owner Mike Russo and operations manager Rick George. Thank God you guys found us. I don't know how, but yes, one of our product lines being the trailers. We're thankful that we can help. Brick and Mike show Pete the new trailer and explain its features. Hi, it's Pete from Two Wheels to Anywhere, and in this episode, we are in trailer heaven. Concepts, an amazing company. They've got uh, so many good things going on. I got Mickey. The owner of Modern Concepts, great guy Michael Russo. Pete decided to call him Mickey for some bizarre reason. I got Brick, and they're going to take us through a trailer delight, a paradise of trailers where dreams can be made true. It's a good reason. Somebody told me his name was Mickey. We have a couple different trailers you can see, but this is our the white version. It's a white gel coat. So this is basically how they come out. Okay. Um, right. This is just sort of your starter color or your finish color. Uh, this one is actually a Honda Goldwing trailer. So we'll do different tail lights for you, modify them, whatever you need for different vehicles. And a good solid seal so it stays dry and waterproof where you get from point A to point B. It's all over the film, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. How are you doing? Mickey's a great name. All right. It's a birthday. I mean, not everyone gets two birthdays in a true avatar. This is going to be for two wheels to anywhere. Yes. Great. What's inside? All right, let's take a look. Well, <laughs> what would you know? It's, it's a bit scary. Did you like there. it in there? No. Was it comfy enough? Was it nice, soft, and lining and everything else? Um, it could use a pillow or two, I would say. <laughs> Bye! You got a bumper? That one actually was right in there, back into the frame okay. on the trailer. We'll close it up and I'll show you the suspension. It has an independent suspension, so you have a swing arm on either side and no solid axle running through. So each tire is independent of the other, and so if you hit a pothole on one side, that's gonna drop into that hole and come right back up again. So six inches of travel Great. for each tire. So you won't see it hop off the road. Um, the energy isn't gonna translate to the other tire. While the boys were at Modern Concepts, they met with Nicole and Jay Gallant of Wicked Sticky Designs about placing some custom graphics on Rich's new trailer. So we're gonna take some pictures. The logo's gonna go along here in the yellow. It'll be all on one line instead of stacked. That way you get um, the most height out of the letters so you can see everything. 
what we have on our van is reflective yeah. stickers. Right. And um, it's great because it really pops off at night. And for you guys, especially, it could be a good safety thing. People may not know that you guys are going to have a trailer at the back of a bike. We're coming back in a couple of weeks and... Uh, It'll be all done, all, all set to go, to go, except for the bike. The reason there are motorcycle cops is so that regular cops can have heroes too. That's what Jonathan Hughes, a seasoned riding veteran and police sergeant for New York's Dutchess County Sheriff's Office Motorcycle Patrol, once told us about his passion and his work. Jonathan has made numerous TV and media appearances, including a spot on American Chopper and is an avid collector of vintage motorcycles. I, I started riding about fifth grade on, you know, dirt bikes, um, uh, metric size, uh, you know, chap dirt bikes, and had a good time with them. And then uh, suddenly realized I wanted to ride street bikes. But I noticed that people tended to linger a little longer at classic or antique bikes. It's Pete Anklar from Two Wheels to Anywhere and here we are in Poughkeepsie in New York. Hi. It's good to see you again, Jonathan. Thanks for coming here today, Pete. Great. Well, it's good to see you. I mean, you know, the last time we saw Jonathan Hughes was uh, the uh, BMW Color in the Catskills. First of all, it was a great trip down there. And then when we saw this guy with like 20, was it 27 bikes? No, nine bikes. I think he had 11. 11 bikes. <laughs> it's just a lot of bikes. And with a love of the antique machines and cars and things, I said antique motorcycle. And I just blindly went out and I bought one. I, I did do total restorations on the military bikes, which were a little bit easier. This guy was a total enthusiast, great guy. I've pulled Pete over a number of times. <laughs> Meow. Weaving. <laughs> Harley Davidson offered this motorcycle in a lot of colors. I chose the olive and black, uh, which was kind of a classic color because if you could suddenly afford this motorcycle and we're still in the Great Depression, you didn't want to attract too much attention. People right. still didn't have a job yet, so right. you could kind of ease through town a little bit less right. showy. Put your, you know, <laughs> your young lady in here. Okay. And you are really quite warm and well protected. If, if we move over to here, essentially this is the same motorcycle. 1934 right. Harley Davidson police motorcycle. Coming up after the break, the boys install a trailer hitch on Rich's bike. But things don't go quite as planned. Here we are in Wilmington, Massachusetts at Modern Concepts. Two weeks have passed since we left them with the trailer. And lo and behold, we've got a trailer that's stickied up by Wicked Sticky Designs. And you can see behind me, we've got Richie's V-Strom up on the, uh, the jack there. And we're putting in a trailer hitch. In fact, Dr. Ken Lem is actually installing the trailer hitch along with Brick. Soon, we're going to be able to drive out of here with Richie's V-Strom pulling the best and most beautiful trailer in the world. It looks like it's supposed to be way back here. Yeah, see that, see that makes it good. Yeah. Good remember, we got to clear the tire. Is there a problem going on? Trying to figure out where this bracket goes. There's no mounting hose on the back side of this bike. There's a mounting point in the back, basically, for this plate. So this should come up and mount up underneath the bike, just like that. But what we're seeing is just, really, just your fender guard, the plastic fender guard yeah. underneath. You know, um, the, the hitch was a, is a high quality hitch. Um, it was well designed, um, fits the bike well. Unfortunately, it didn't come with instructions. They went the extra mile, they really did. I won't say you'll have to cut some off. No. It's a difficult install, not because of the trailer itself, but because of the trailer hitch. A solution has emerged from the chaos. We thought we'd have to go back to the uh, manufacturers and get some instructions. Um, so we struggled a little bit about, you know, initially to figure out how it fits to the bike, you know, where it bolts onto. Maybe this will get done today and we can actually drive off with the, uh, the uh, Modern Concepts trailer. 
Well, we found that we have to take apart what we just put in. It is shipping stuff to us, and it's got no instructions. No instructions. The hitch portion took probably about three to four hours. And they're not there to answer their phone no. Sunday afternoon, just because it's like probably really nice there. There doesn't appear to be anything coming through that area. Maybe it's optional. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. So here we are, like, doing our due diligence without any directions at all. Right. Well, we had to drill two holes. So it certainly kicks hands down today. Yes. And to attach the hitch to the bike. We need to take this tailpiece off so that we can have access to the wiring. Connect our trailer harness. Here we are in the middle of the operation and there's some serious things going on. You know that something's <laughs> happened when the milk crates appear. Aren't you guys yeah. done yet? What's the problem? I would have had this ripped apart a long time ago. Yeah, you're right, Mike. It's... There's a little bit of guesswork because we're not sure if it's brackets are going to meet up. We were just as desperate to get this trailer ready so that Rich could come with us. We'll just muddle through, as yeah. the English would say, and, and, and we'll get through this. Here we are with the Two Wheels to Anywhere trailer and the creators of these fantastic stickers, Wicked Sticky Designs. Yeah, it was a little bit of a challenge just because we had this raised panel here on the uh, on the lock area. Wicked sticky. We wanted uh, a company name that was going to kind of let you know where we were from, and, and Wicked is very Boston. We use a little elbow grease to get the remaining uh, adhesive off. We're at the, the final stages of Rich's bike. The hitch is still in process, but the uh, the Wicked sticky guys are here peeling off Rich's beloved Suzuki V-Strom stickers and they're gonna replace it with the Two Wheels to Anywhere logo. So there's some performance enhancing uh, uh, attributes of your stickers. Absolutely. Um, all stickers only done by Wicked Sticky uh, adds at least 10 horsepower. Modern Concepts owner, Mike Russo, was keen to show the boys one of his new toys, which is being used for marketing and promotional purposes. Mike also has some racetrack experience. Last season of 09, we picked up a set of wheels and uh, we tried our hand at the modified session. And we did quite well. We didn't crash, obviously. Mike, or Mickey, he's got these patents out there on, on an engineering device and a barge which will generate electricity from the seabed. But on the other hand, you know, they've got these Mad Max racing cars with like exhaust pipes like that. This one here came from Minnesota. Right. And then we went through it. Reliability, this one's a brand new car. Which they take to London, take to New York, or all over the place. So it's kind of like a balancing act, right? They are the most carbon neutral business that we've seen. It's a little loud, no fuel injection. You know, once again, we're fiddling with different things, so people will say, geez, they're the trailer guys, but you know what, these knuckleheads do a lot of other cool stuff. After the break, we continue our vintage motorcycle segment with Jonathan Hughes. Hey, oh, I got my 